No, not something gay, please. Not something gay. <laughs> Designer special during the Miami Boat Show. I am here with Antonio Romano. Romano, that's correct. That's the right one. <laughs> How you doing? Welcome uh, in my room. Sorry. <laughs> welcome, guys. Welcome. I'm fine. What about you? So we're not really in the Fainer Hotel because we weren't allowed to film downstairs. Uh, yeah, but let's say we we try to make something more creative. So yeah, that's, I, the, that's the point. Whose you know? idea was it to come to the bedroom? <laughs> Uh, I think they're from the concierge. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what they were. Up. Hmm. What did they think we were going to film? Maybe a sort of space movie. Miami. But I told there was an interview. Uh, I thought there was an interview. That but could okay. well be because <laughs> Miami is very famous for a lot of <laughs> a lot of things. So I've never met you before. No, first time. First time. Yeah. Um, how would you? Just, how would you sum up? In America, we have a thing called an elevator pitch. Okay. Uh, and, um, what do you call it? An, no, it's um, elevator pitch. Yeah, it's like a, a lift. Okay. You know, a, a yep. lift. Yep. And so you have to tell me what mm. you do and who you are within thirty seconds. Oh wow! Uh, I'm the founder with two more partners of a yacht design company. She's called Hot Lab. Hot, and hot we said that hot, hot Lab. Hot because we are Italian. We are creative <laughs> and we are spicy. Lab, because we are also technician. We try to be professional and we follow the rules. This is the meaning about that. So we try to give a professional service with a more creative way. See, one thing, um, I've, I've interviewed a couple of Italians today and a couple of Germans. Oh, really? In the car industry. Okay. And so I was, the Italians have a very, um, why, why are the okay? So hold on. Let me just try and define this. Okay. Why are Italians so good at design? Maybe because we are surrounded by beautiful things from centuries, you know. Now, actually, this brings me to something I had an interview with at Art Basel. Okay. Your art mm -hmm. is government placed, correct? Around, around Italy. So uh, here in America, yeah. Um, if you want an, a statue or you want a fantastic monument or something like that, it has yeah. to be privately funded. Okay. In Italy, yeah. it's a government endeavor. No proper government. It could be also the Pope that can pay for that. Yes. This, so this is why you, you yeah. are surrounded by the most beautiful things. We are surrounded by centuries of beautiful things, from the ancient Roman and even before, to the Renaissance period, to, you know, uh, several... East, several centuries create what is Italy is right now. About not just the beautiful of what the men create, but also the landscape, the territory, the smells, the flavor. Maybe for this reason. Yeah. You know, maybe for this reason. Could be a one of the several reasons. My girlfriend is an um, interior designer. Okay. And so she's, it's always about the Italian um, uh, furniture. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah. BMW yeah. Italia. Um, Correct, yeah. Uh, because that is a famous design district about the furniture. You know, start the one company, then maybe uh, the father or the cousin or something like that started the competitive company and so on. Then you create a district regarding design where several, maybe 10 or 20 main companies regarding furniture are all together in 20 kilometers. Good yeah. Lord. So it's actually um, set up. Yeah. If you and think then, about cars, you know, yeah. uh, Lamborghini was trying to buy a Ferrari, but Enzo Ferrari at that time he said, no, I don't know if this is the right car for you. So he found his own company. And there are 15 kilometers, one each other, the company, and then arrives several more. So it's, wow. I, I, I've owned the Max Alto um, couch. Okay, cool. I didn't pay... Ah, that's the good for you, even more good. I didn't pay the $26,000. I, I got it for $500. Oh, wow. But sitting on a $26,000 um, settee, couch, yeah. uh, the difference is amazing. It's not, it doesn't... It, it's not just about design. It's not, well, the exactly. design was exceptional. Exactly. The not material just is yeah. exceptional. Yeah. But the construction of it. Correct. And I often hear nowadays people say, oh, they don't make it like they used to. Mm. No, the Chinese don't make it. Exactly. But the but this Italians is, do. This is a way because, you know, in order of not having so many copies, you try to improve yourself. Not mm. just about the design, but about what is inside. How to develop the technology to be more comfortable, to be more fast, to be more luxurious. Yeah, yeah to be a bit step over in comparison to the other ones. This could be in several fields, from a couch to 
to a car or to a yacht sometime. So, okay, that leads us into yachts. So okay, let's go back to the why yachts. Are you, why are you a yacht designer? Uh, yeah, to be honest you? with you, I would like to do a motorcycle designer. That was my passion. Really? Yeah, I love bikes. I love motorbikes. Okay. So when I was 14, I think, or something like that, uh, long, long years ago, <laughs> by the way, I'll be 40 this year. Um, you believe he's 40? Not one single white hair, but you know, I'm on the way. So yeah. uh, Have you well, it was a high school, you know, and tried to, okay, I was designing bike every single day. So, okay, what can I do with this beautiful design? So I contacted some companies about maybe Aprilia or some companies like that. I sent my drawing. One company replied to me, okay, interesting, but first of all, you need to finish your high school and then maybe having a proper degree. Okay, what kind of degree? Industrial design. Really? Okay, let's do it. So I've done industrial design. In industrial design course, I was lucky to have the most famous Italian yacht designer as a teacher, that is Gianni Zuccon, a legend in our industry, designer of CRN, Ferretti Group especially. Okay. And then I understand that in yacht, in, in yacht there are much more drinks, uh, more, more, much more fun than the motorcycle industry. So let's do yachting. I th that is what everybody says um, in England. I'm very, you know, I'm very honest. I don't, I don't give you, you know. Well, no, there's, um, you know, Raymond Langton. Yes. Um, so Andrew. Um, I know the brand. I know, don't, oh, okay. don't know personally, but so I know Andrew, the brand. I've, I've known Andrew for about 20, okay. 25 years, and okay. he went to um, car design in Coventry okay. in England, where yeah. it's a very famous it's industry regarding car. Yeah. Yeah, but nobody in car design can actually have their designs. This is what he told me. Everyone, it's a junior who then has to report to here. To yeah, here. because again, you work for a huge company. Yeah. You are one of the wheels of the main machine. This is the point. By the way, in Hot Lab, we are three partners. This is important to say, you know. Okay. Now, I'm more, no more taking care about the design. I'm taking care about the marketing of my company and about the design and about, sorry, the clients. So the design part is followed by two main partners. So Michele Dragone, that is a car designer. So he studied okay. car design in Modena. So the capital, let's say, of the car design. So is Moda, the Madonna. Moda, Modena. Modena is where uh, Maserati is. Again, right. another famous brand, you know, regarding and cars. Ferrari. It's and Ferrari amazing is on the way, when yeah. you start realizing how many Italian design... Uh, you know, um, in Giugiaro. Giugiaro? Another yeah. Italian? Yeah, Giugiaro, Pininfarina. And, uh, yeah. Well, Pininfarina, where we almost interviewed them today. Oh, wow. I think it was daughter or granddaughter or something. Uh, maybe, yeah, because nowadays it's a huge company, it's a yeah. company, yeah. By the way, uh, Michele is a car designer, but still designing sometimes with sketches about cars, but the way in which you understand, let's say, uh, our surfaces is different from an architect and is different from an engineering. Okay. Every single edges becomes important. They can be a car or can be an 80 meter yacht. <laughs> The other partner is Enrico, Enrico Lomini, and he's the one more, the technical one of the tree, and he's taking care about the interior and uh, out that everything had to work in the right way. So we created, say, a good mix. So you're the, Crea the trifecta. Yeah. You've got the engineering, the design, and then the... Um... Exactly. Let's say marketing or clients. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we tried to arrive to, to this. Maybe this was a key. I don't want to say a success because we're still learning. Now, so is, did you start... Where did you start? In uh, we started in 2004. But wh where did you start originally? Originally, uh, we know each other in a design studio that was about product design. Was okay. Uh, we designed, you know, object. So I was, after one year that I was in that studio, I was the leader of the studio because the owner of the studio was a teacher at university. So nobody was inside. Okay, can you take care about the studio? Uh, okay, let me understand how to do it. Okay, do it. So both Enrico and Michele come in this studio for making a training experience. So, okay, it was for free, why not? So, we start to become friends together. So, one day we decide to go to the Genoa Boat Show. Right. The, at that time, it was the most important boat show, even more than Cannes at that yeah. time, it was 2004 or 2003. It was a huge boat show. Uh, that was my first time going there. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. In, in huge the, show. It was incredible. Maybe nine days of boat show with everybody was there. My experience with that, though, is I don't speak a word of Italian. A word of Italian. It is, I'm speaking. And I was in the, the big cent. You know, oh, yeah, the in the circular part, exactly. Like third floor or something. Yeah. And we were trying to sell lights, and nobody there spoke English or didn't Imagine. want to speak English. No, it doesn't. And so I had to learn <laughs> soldo, solo, luce sabac. Soldo, luce sabac. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a small word because we were in the same pavilion because we are right to Genoa, not for designing yacht. 
we were not so stupid that, oh, come on, we, not, we cannot design yacht. We, maybe we can design lights, or we can design, uh, I don't know, a passerella, or a chair, or something like that. So we spent the entire day in that stupid pavilion, going knocking <laughs> everywhere, nobody replied. Saying, so, okay, guys, in an hour we have a train, we need to come back to Milano. But let's have a look to some boat. At least, let me jump for the first time in my life on a boat. So we got to a shipyard called uh, Raffaelli Shipyard. We went there, say, um, can we have a look to one of your boats? Oh, yes, but do you have a boat? Uh, yes, of course, my grandfather has a beautiful river. Of course not. Okay, please, <laughs> you're welcome. And then the steward, does, the hostess, start to show him something regarding the boat, say, ah, you know, I would like to change something about the interior. Uh, you are a designer? Uh, yes. But uh, you have a designer a yacht? Of course you have a designer. We designed already three boats. Oh, seriously? Please, I would like to introduce the owner of the company. The owner of the company gave us a chance. We won the bet. After maybe two months, he asked us to do their biggest boat. And that time was a 70 foot. Make it till you make it. Too. Yeah, we've done it. We've the done it. The first boat you did was a 70 the foot. 70 foot interior design for that. Interior design was Raffaelli Ontera, 70 foot. Never done, never seen a boat in our life was 21. <laughs> 21, 22, 12, I was 22 and I was the oldest one. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> oh my god. 22, I was the oldest one. Were you terrified? We get 7,000 euros and we were the most happy people in the world. We bought two laptops and a fax. We still have that telephone with a fax in our studio. Incredible, you know? This is 2005. This is 2000, 2003. Because in 2004 we founded the company because we don't have money to found right. the company. So we started Holy in the place, yeah, you know, because doing two works, three works per day in order to then having something for pay the rent of the houses. So we're the same age. I'm 38. So okay, you're, and you're 40, like, almost, almost 40. Almost 40. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic because yeah. I mean I, I, I've met a few people in the last couple of weeks who are yeah. really hustling to get their businesses going, yeah. and it's back to basics, and it's doing the stuff that. Most people don't want to do nowadays. Absolutely. And Co so yeah, cor it's correct. It's correct. Lying, it's correct. Uh, it's correct it's it's part of it. But you know, the best part of the studio starts after you get a proper experience yeah. in your design studio. I'm just lucky to have Gianni Zucan as a teacher. That's it. So I, didn't, I cannot say that he teach me something, but I found him as an example, of course. Right, right. Uh, on the other hand, also Michele, uh, the, the exterior designer, he's got his own experience uh, designing for a small your design studio. Was. So he started to do something in the, in the meantime before coming to the product side studio where we met each other. Enrico was, I think, uh, just a passionate about scuba diving. That's it. So nobody with a real experience about. So we start by ourselves with the money that we get from the fifth job, mm -hmm. understanding and making mistakes, of course, because at the beginning you had to yeah. make a lot of mistakes on our shoulders. So, so how was that first time? Uh, was this Raffaelli 70 that we have done a small fast boat called Gotcha? Uh, was I think uh, I don't remember 35 foot something very small, very fast, but mm -hmm. was interesting. But from day one, we start to give our project to the press in order to okay, we can do this if you have if it's possible. Can you talk about? And they start to talk about our studio because you know at that time not so many young studios were on the market. You know, yachting industry is a very closed industry. It's amazing, actually. You're right. The especially in the design world. Yeah. Because you've got the you know the kingpins, uh, Disdale. Yeah. Stark, I think that we are. I don't know. Okay. One hundred fifty design studio in all the world. Maybe not. Imagine that in Milan there is seven thousand architectural studios between architecture and design. Seven thousand. Say yes, yeah, seven thousand. Correct. Imagine, Milan and the surrounded, thanks of course to the, um, to the various design school that we have in Milano or to the various furniture companies. That's amazing, 150 worldwide. Yeah, no, I don't think more. I don't think more. I mean, the design studio, they really are working, mm. they really are, has done something or just in construction, something like that. So, so after 14 years, we have done some interesting boat. We have got some awards. We have eight yachts in built at the moment. Eight yachts? Yeah. yeah. For a small 60 foot sailing boat, for a. Uh, yeah, yeah oh, exterior and interior. Exterior and interior, yeah. The smallest one is 60 foot for an American Taiwanese company, Ilas Yacht, together with German Fresh about the exterior. We're taking care about the interior. Okay. And the biggest one is uh, almost 70 meter for a private customer built in Turkey. 
in the meantime, we are... Yeah, yeah. in Turkey, where about in, or Izmir or somewhere? Uh, no, in, uh, in Istanbul. Oh, okay. In Istanbul. In Istanbul. Okay. Uh, it's a company called AES, but AES. It, we are working for the for the final customer. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. from the beginning, I don't know why we start to work not following one shipyard in particular, but following private customer. So we are specializing in that in the in the full custom job. Because it's interesting in this industry, you guys are the royalty. You guys get to direct your customers to which yards. Uh, sometimes, yeah. You want yeah, your yeah. boats. If to they ask, of course. Sometimes it could be the captain. Sometimes it could be the broker. Uh, but yes, of course. Yeah, you, well, considering you know uh, our experience or how much the client want to spend, because you know you have different levels of spending money. But I guess in the build process, you are the person who's the closest to the owner. You spend the most Absolutely, time. Absolutely, because again, you spend them. two years, three years with the owner. Uh, you get to know everything about them. Yeah. If they like to sleep on the right side of the bed or the left side of the bed, for example, because we need Hugely to know. important, yeah. Because we need to know when he need to want what have his phone or uh, where to put his safe or in the morning, uh, you know, want to do something mm. or not. So are stupid information, but make sense for creating the perfect full custom job for as a, as a tailor, you know. Yeah. As a tailor. Blimey, and you're based in Milano. Yeah. Why am I saying Milano? Milan. Uh, Milano. I'm English. <laughs> Why do you, is that how you say it in Italian? Milano. Milano. Simply Milano. Why do we say Milan then? You say Milan? Yeah. I don't know. We say Londra instead of London. Maybe for the same reason. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so future going forward then? You guys are just. We are still learning. Moving. We are still learning. We are still learning. We have a, a nice team. A very good team. In how many my are you? We are in ten. Okay. We are 10 people. A very good team. With Do you want, that, in terms of design, yeah. um, in terms of a company, that's, yeah. you're now at, at the mid-level. Do you want to keep going bigger or are you going to keep... Uh, yeah, the aim, of course, is to go in bigger. Okay. Um, because we have started to collaborate and to talk mostly with uh, some North European company, uh, from Icon Yachts to Izen or to Oceanco. Oh, we are done last year. We presented a 115 meter concept for Fincantieri. Uh, we are working very well with Bayetto. We have an entire line of yachts with them. Uh, we're working with shipyard in G for the GP construction as Arcadia. So, very known names. So, the aim is to still working, of course, for the private customer that became are still the main uh, focus of our studio. But of course, to follow in more and more some shipyards, to collaborate more and more with some high-level shipyards. Let's say that we arrive in the Premier League, okay? Yeah. But still not playing for the Caps or something like that. Okay, it's but we are in the Premier League. I, I, I've done Don Starkey. Yeah, um, I've, yeah, a legend. I, I, I did jo um, work experience with uh, um, Starkey Designs wow. back in 90. Seven, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I met in Dubai, I think, last year. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's in, in Dubai, Dubai yeah. now. Yeah. Um, and his studio was amazing in Putney, and was it Putney? Somewhere in South London, Richmond, I think uh -huh. it was. And he only had like eight people working for him or something, but he felt it was already getting too many people. Yeah. And. Um, it depends then how many projects you want to follow. Of course, you want to follow maybe two projects per year, two big projects. It could be enough. <laughs> he was doing, it was amazing. You know, we are in a phase that we are receiving some good inquiries. And, uh, and inquiries, you, and you cannot say no. So maybe sometime you start to make in just a profile and a general arrangement. Mm. Because you, you, you cannot see if this possibility will go on or not. So why not? There's another designer, there, Michael Kirstein. You might not know him. No. He no, works out of his house, mm -hmm. and he gets one client every three years. One client every three years? And he does it all himself. Wow. He, is a, he is fantastic at detail. He's a very traditional designer in okay. terms of style. There's no flamboyance. Okay. But he never wants to employ anybody, uh -huh. and he just wants to do it himself, and it's his studio. Wow. And then on the flip wow. side, you have something like Andrew Winch, who's... Yeah, Winch. So it's amazing the difference. Yeah, huge, but okay, Andrew Winch is another legend. Then he's taking care, if I were remember, also about plane and properties or something like that. Yes. You know, uh, for us... Do you diversify like that, or is it... We have boats? done... No, we have done uh, uh, two hotels. Now we are doing a boutique hotel on the north for Turkey. But the best part of the time are clients that we have done just for them, then they ask for this. 
Yeah. We don't propose. You know us now do this. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We don't propose ourselves also for extra thing about yachting because we are already quite full with our job about yachting. This is the main reason. Uh, by the way, you know, traveling so much from all the, the main boat show, plus going to meet the clients, and of course my partners are traveling as well for following the work in progress and things. So time is limited sometimes, but mm, we can do even more. Yeah, do you know how many days a year you spend away from home? Uh, last year, I have an app on my phone to check everything. Last year was maybe 190 days outside of Italy. Over half the year? Yeah. Out of the, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad. Not bad. not bad, yeah. Not especially bad. if you're staying in places like the Ah, uh, Miami is always nice to come. Especially when I leave, you leave Milan, there was minus two, and you arrive here, that you find 25, 26 degree. Yeah. yeah. I normally like to ask people, what's your best story in the industry? Mm -hmm. What's the weirdest request you've had? But that's not fair for you because... <laughs> probably, I tell already so many stories. You've already you know? probably got 20 clients and <laughs> <laughs> they'll know exactly <laughs> which one of them it is. Yeah. Uh, somebody has for having maybe if an horse on board because what? yeah because it was an Arabic family you know for them the horse is so important. Can or, you put a horse uh, on a they super say that yacht? On a super yacht could be done more or less everything. Of course you cannot leave the horse alone all the time so sometimes you need to go outside but uh, Did another you do that? No. <laughs> no, no, no. We have not done that but you know I mean request. You just say it's amazing because yeah Paul Allen yeah. put a basketball Cool on the back exactly, of the... yeah, that's much more easy to do, of course. Or there is some way to play golf, also, of course, on the water, yeah. or some interior in which you want to mm, be inspired by a Lamborghini that is so edgy that it's not proper yacht style for an interior, you know. Yeah, but you know, there is several, or maybe sometimes an owner they want to have a separate bed with his wife, but on the second board, he want to have separate cabins with his wife. Uh, I think that on the third boat, he will not have his wife anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so if you had to say, who was your favorite yacht designer? Who uh -huh. would you look to and go, yeah, that's somebody I, I still I think my, my teacher, Gianni Zucca, for okay. his career, for his career, because his career is amazing. Because he started in 76, you know, two years before that I was born, when yacht design was even not a, a work. Was yeah. just was an architect, you know. He was an architect, and he created together with Norberto Ferretti, maybe the most one of the most important shipyard in the yachting industry about GRP production. So yeah. and they grew up so much in the, in the in the various years, you can see the crisis past before and, and after, and um, you know is a is a way to think about how to grow up in a studio. Yeah. Mm. Always very gentle, always very polite, always very professional, and always very curious. That is most important. Curiosity. No? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Curiosity. You are not. You still have to enjoy your job. First of all, it's a beautiful job. It's a beautiful job. You see beautiful places. You meet very beautiful people. Uh, so being curious is get inspired not just about what you have in Italy, but also what you can have in. Uh, That's what about it you. is. Today yeah. I have met so many people, mm -hmm. and it's curiosity which has kept them. Young, 60, Correct. 70, 80 year olds, and they are just full of life and they're still curious. It is. It Curiosity. Is. Yeah. Especially when you live, you know, your old Europe and you arrive to Miami or to Dubai or to other places like that, that everything is so brand new, it's so, it looks more spicy, you know? So you bring some back, you bring home some, some flavor for that. Yeah. Yeah. Good Lord. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Thank That's you. That's my for, pleasure. That's my you pleasure. For, um, Sharing your room. Let's have my bottle of wine now, okay? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Thanks to you guys.